Welcome to a very special episode of Best Thing on the Menu. For the first time, we are on location at a restaurant to try everything on the menu. And we have to do it right. We have to do it at a place I know that I love. We are back at Houston Hot Chicken, but this time I had to bring in the big guns, the big spicy guns. Spence Roper is back on the program. You ready, man? Yes. Yes, I'm ready, ranch baby. <laughs> I hope you are, green boy, because this is Best Thing on the Menu, Revenge of Houston Hot Chicken. Mm -hmm. Spence Roper, welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me back. I am excited to have you back. This is a very special episode. You know why. You know why you're here. The spicy. I had to bring in the big guns. Spence Roper is second to no one when it comes to spicy. And as you all know, in season two, we had Spencer King for Houston Hot Chicken. He wasn't ready. He's second to everyone when it comes to <laughs> spicy. <laughs> but not Spence Roper. And we had such a great experience. I will just say, when we came to pick up the food on Spencer King's episode of Houston Hot Chicken, Ken, he was so excited about us getting everything on the menu. He wanted us to do it in the restaurant right then and there. And we weren't ready. So I was like, Ken, I'm coming back. I will do my first on-site location here, but I know I got to bring in a vet here. This isn't a first guest episode. This is someone who's got to know what they're doing. Also, Tyler, here, listen, I don't want to embarrass. Tyler's been doing the good work as well. Thanks so much, man. No problem, We've man. got all our sauces. Let's just distribute these real quick. We got two of we each. We got the sauce box, two of each. Now don't take all my ranches, okay? <laughs> We're here on location. First time, I'm super excited. So we're gonna do things a couple different. I know some of the diehards who watch every episode of this show are like, Paul, you're doing the same episode again. No, 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 no. Got some surprises coming. It's different. For you. First thing different, we're doing all the drinks. And that's gonna be a rule of the show, Spence Roper. If I come on location, now I'm gonna start getting into the drink menus. We're talking about just like their specialty drinks, not yeah. like we're not gonna try everyone's diet coke to see who has the best. I don't care about that. We know it's McDonald's, leave it alone. They have four specialty slushies. They have their frozen lemonade. This is their hibiscus strawberry lemonade. Ooh, I'm interested. That is their cucumber watermelon. Ooh. And then the large Tyler's favorite. Blueberry lavender. A lot of earth tones with blueberry the, lavender. Yeah, huh? they've, they've got hibiscus, lavender, cucumber. They're, they're really bringing some earthy flavors to their lemonade. So before, let's, let's dive in. Part of the fun of coming on location is you get to see the presentation of how it would be Ooh. when you come. There's no to go boxes here. These are the loaded fries. These are just their cheese fries, which weren't on the last episode. Oh, no Something cheese fries. new. No cheese fries. They didn't even have this on the menu. It's been added. And then these are the fusion fries, which everyone knows are my favorite. Let's start with the cheese fry. Would you dip a cheese fry? So I would. No ranch? I no mean, fry sauce? I feel like when you get these like loaded fries, they dip them for you. That is a good what cheese What would sauce. I even put on this? What would I add to this? You could either do ranch or their Houston special sauce. It's a little bit of a sweet sauce, but I really want the cheese flavor to shine through. So I'm actually going to do what you want, Spence. Thank you. We're going to do just these. Look at that steam. These are piping. These are ready. He's having been waiting in the car. Yeah, it does add when you don't have to do the door dash every time. <laughs> oh, that's a cheesy sauce. I didn't have this last episode. That's a good cheese fry. It is. The cheese is really good. I almost wish there was a little shredded cheese too on top. Kind of a different texture. You know what I mean? All right. But Chef Paul with the suggestion. Just a suggestion, suggestion right off the bat. But you know what? Because I am a saucy boy, I want to do a cheese fry with the Houston sauce. You know what? I, I will. It's be. a smaller menu. You're going to be fine. That's a good cheese. And oh, yeah. It's like the cheese with, with the ranch will be good. I Houston. want you to get your first taste of that Houston sauce early in the I, I actually know what ranch tastes like. It's. <laughs> Why can't you just let me be a ranch it's, baby? Nah, I want throw you. It in my face. I don't want you to not be a ranch baby. If you ever stop, <laughs> I would feel bad. Did I do something to change Paul? <laughs> Where's my ranch, baby? He can't Where do you me. go? He can't change me. Never could. Oh, that is good. Yeah, it's a real sweet flavor. It's going to cut through a lot of spicy. I think that they do that intentionally. I wouldn't do the sauce with the cheese fries. I think You they... want the cheese? You're a, a natural guy. One if, sauce you're here, guy. if you're here for this cheese, it's very good cheese. I'm from Cash Valley, Utah, and I don't want to get into it, but it is, known for, in my face. it is known for really one thing, one thing only. <laughs> so I feel like my opinion on cheese is uh, has more weight than yeah, uh, anyone. I don't think that's fair, but I'll allow it because I can't argue with it. Grab a straw. Mm. Which one is this? This, this is, is just regular lemonade. lemonade. Notice the lemon look to it. Well, yeah, but this one looks like a pink lemonade, and you said it's like blueberry hibiscus wild flower. It's lavender. Blueberry okay, lavender. 
That's the regular lemonade. Very good. Pretty good. Tart, very tart. I like that. Yeah, it tastes like lemons. But it's standard. Like, that's just a standard frozen lemonade. What is it today? Is it 100 and something? Oh, 98? yeah. Oh, like we could all not that. make a better day for frozen lemonades. Oh, man. Middle of July. All my restraint to just not be like, Mah. You'll be there by the end of this episode, I promise. We'll I see. Promise. We'll oh, see. Oh, I can't wait. We'll see. Famous last words. He's like, oh, we don't even need I this hope lemonade. they are. I hope they are my last words. I hope that I die because of how spicy it is. Because up to this point, I've died from disappointment. Uh, how not spicy. <laughs> Paul's like, ooh, this is burning me. And I go, how? What did it do? Oh. <laughs> These are the loaded fries. This is going to have an inclusion of pickles, coleslaw, and it's already got the Houston sauce. So there's no cheese. Oh, so this is the This Houston is their sauce. loaded French fry. And I did it with mild. So this one won't be spicy, huh. even for me. All right. Pickles, huh? Pickles, coleslaw, and a fry. Get Try and get it all. Yeah, that's a good I dare you. Yeah, that's a bite. Come on, get on there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm. It's been a while since you've been on the show. Spencer's struggling. If you came on more, you wouldn't struggle. I mm. forgot to take my eating practice lessons. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, immediately, these drive me away from the cheese fries. I love this so much more. I love That whole combination this is incredibly good. The <laughs> acid of the pickles, the coleslaw, the freshness, the fries, they're super crisp, and then you get a little chicken on top. It's more of a meal than a side. Wait, so are there pickles like all throughout? It almost feels like there's one missing. <laughs> oh my gosh, we, look at this. They are coming in hot. Oh, the tortillas. This is a soup. These guys are on top of it. They're killing it. Yeah, they are crushing it. This, my friends, I mean, the camera doesn't really even do it justice. This is a beautiful tortilla soup. The to-go does not even do it justice. But we'll get to that in just a second. Tortilla soup is one of my favorites. Oh, you're a tortilla soup guy? I mean, I, I've not had theirs, but... This excites you. Just when that's on a menu, typically I uh, gravitate towards it. So I'm very eager to... I got the right guests. Yeah. I knew I had the right guests. When came in a onesie and everything. You are color coordinated. You're ready to go. Look, look good, feel good. That's what they say. He's going to feel good in his mouth soon. That's, in, that's a that green means. boy mouth. <laughs> That's the great, the great I wake up, I say that to myself and get dressed. <laughs> the fusion fries. Now, from the first episode, this is a star for me. This so, has a mango salsa. This is, see that shredded so cheese that I was... This is that green sauce. What's the green? An avocado cilantro. Ooh. Black beans, corn, mango, shredded cheese, guac avocado sauce, cojita cheese, I believe it's pronounced. And I, I put a medium. I mean, you'll never get it all. Good luck, kid. We'll see. We'll see what I'll get as much as I can. A too tiny bite attack. Situation. Here. This. Oh man. I didn't do a good job getting in the. Oh, someone else forgot to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no eating practice for Paul this week, apparently. Mm, I decided to go with your method of the two tiny bites. Why you gotta give me heat for that? Well, now the cojita and the shredded cheese. You criticize me shamelessly, and then go and commit the same error. <laughs> oh. Learn how to be a human, Paul. Oh, a good one, I mean. These fries are so good, I don't even care about him roasting me. It doesn't matter. I'm not matter. roasting you, I'm helping you be better. That is the best medium I've ever tasted, by the way. Is this medium, the this medium, medium spice? That is the most pleasant heat of any restaurant, as far as a medium. Kisses your lips, stings them just a bit, but then it goes away. Awesome. Actually enhances the rest of the flavors. What do you think? Is that still too mild for you? I'm not out here trying to burn down a village, per se. <laughs> But I would agree with your description. I don't know about the, the sting. Um, but is that pleasant? Would you order that? Oh, one? yeah. No, like no, no, that? I, I, absolutely. The mild really doesn't touch you at all. It well, just feels like I mean, breading and seasoning. It doesn't I mean, even feel it, like it's a spice. Like flavoring, but yeah, no, yeah, none of that. Like yeah. the tingle of spice. This is the first level where you're going to get like some heat. But this is, for me, second to none. I have good. actually been here and had this since the last episode. That's how good it is. What's your name? I'm Jackson. I was prepping sauces. So you're a sauce prep. Thank you so much, man. Just, this is this is the this is Jackson's work, right? Jackson's yeah. work, making it happen. Thank you, Jackson. Now, something I again wanted to make something different from the first episode to this episode. I did the soup spicy. Ah. You can add different level of spice to the tortilla soup here. We did mild before. I did medium again this time because I like the medium. So we upped it a notch. I, uh, I want you to take the first dip. I think in soups in particular, spice really adds to. It makes me like them more. Let's see if I can get a little. All right. Your struggle, Bill. Matt. Yeah, well, they're so big. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I'm not a big soup guy. So when you got, like, excited, it made me happy. Oh, yeah. That's no, only it's... one of us. I love it. This is very good. Very good. That's a fantastic tortilla soup. Second to none. It is very good. 
you're triple biting. You're not even messing around. Well, I just wanted to get one of you're these. Going rogue. Are you trying with to... these, that tahin, whatever it's called. That was the bite. I can feel it. I hear the crunch. Do you like soup? I, I said this before, I'll say it again. If I was sick, I would order this soup. You know how you want like, oh, yeah, yeah. like a kind comfort soup? This I is, would reach for this over a chicken noodle. This is the chicken noodle of 2024. <laughs> Let's do another slushy. All right, so this, which? This one is your strawberry hibiscus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another flower. You get two straws, I get two straws. We'll still drink from the same cup, but different straws. I is know. that fair? It's only our second date. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I like that more than the lemonade. You like that more? Lemonade's solid. I wish this was larger. I like this. Ooh. I'm a ranch baby, but I'm also a strawberry boy. The, when, they, one's when you get the hanging. when you get Ooh. the staples right, it's a staple for a reason. And their lemonade is good. That's uh, perfectly said. By the way, this was kind of one of those fun things that you don't plan, it just happens, but we both had uh, headlining shows this past competing, weekend. Competing. We were competing. Competing show. It was Drake versus Kendrick Lamar 2.0. I'm Kendrick. But uh, <laughs> it was kind of fun. We both were headlining. You were at Ogden. I was at Jordan Landing. Yeah, I was at Ogden because I'm the Kendrick. That's true. Not true. It's just kind of fun, like having a weekend of comedy and finishing it off with a meal with you. Okay, salads, as early as we've ever eaten them. This is their Texas Caesar salad. Love the presentation. Strip on each side, Parmesan down the middle, way better than to go. Yeah, the, that is the presentation. The almost. presentation, they've been, they've been bringing it in. Houston hot chicken, they're first for a reason. They're killing it. We gotta kind of salad it up here. Let's add some more. Yeah, here, I'll hit, hit you. With, yeah, hit absolutely. That, yeah. You're still a guest. Thank you. All right. Caesar salad, good. Solid. I gotta say though, he's not chicken has the best tenders. I love the tenders yes, here. they're really good. So much. It's a good salad. Yeah. I will just say, my one critique, having a breaded chicken salad, it kind of just defeats the purpose of having salad. Do you know what I mean? Because so it's you're like saying your, the health, reason, your health meter goes The reason down that you have salad is to not enjoy it. Like, uh, <laughs> some people just like salad. They just like salad. If I sense that the salad might be healthy, I'm like, just pour some fat on it. I don't want anyone to think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> no one's ever taken the I opposite. just like salad. I'm not trying to be healthy. People Isn't it supposed think, to be healthy though? I mean, maybe. <laughs> it's just every time anyone gets salad, it's like, oh, you know, I'm on a man, man, man. They make it like it's a sacrifice. Some salads are good. It's not a sacrifice to eat salad. It, I mean, sometimes it is when sometimes. they aren't that good. From Agia was the was Parmesan. Par, it is, oh, that's or, just the Parmesan. Isn't it just a Parm? Sure. Parmesan cheese? I don't know. Cut all that out. I don't want anyone hearing me uh, mislabel cheeses. <laughs> I'll lose all my cheese cred. Okay, so this is the Southwest salad, kind of like the fusion fries. It's got your bean, corn, mango, cheese, and the cojita cheese making another appearance. Sometimes they won't. Everything in the bite. Yeah. I'm in mid season form. Nice. Mm. Oh, yeah. And so this one has their the Houston sauce and the avocado and the, sauce. You nailed it. I came to play. He has no idea what's about to happen to him. That is part of the fun of this episode is I know it's going to happen and you don't. This for me is a reason to get a salad at Houston Hot Chicken. Like that's a Caesar. Everyone has a Caesar. But like for me, this is the Houston Hot Chicken salad. And it's fun. It's not even like boring, right? That mango, like it's like a mango puree. That is really good. It is way good. I wish they did the mango in like a smoothie or a frozen lemonade. Yeah, it is. It's You've got it there. What happened? An idea, maybe expand the menu. I'm just mangoing up some chicken here. Yeah, you're just flying loose with this menu. You must my balls, go for it. I think the tables are about to turn, apparently. <laughs> Strawberry all day. Lemonade all day. So this is the hib blueberry hibiscus, no, blueberry, blueberry lavender. lavender, blueberry lavender. Strawberry hibiscus, blueberry, blueberry lavender. lavender. There will be a quiz at the end, so don't get it wrong. Study up. Are they, they do have like the perfect concentration of like the ice to the juice. Yeah. That's nice. Hmm. Blueberry for me has never been a strong flavor and lavender doesn't feel like it's helping it. That feels very kind of they're, like they're, yeah, Too subtle. Yeah. They're, they're both subtle flavors. Very subtle flavors. But this is a lemonade also. Yeah. I think they're all centered in a lemon yeah. theme. This one is very sweet. Oh, see, I think this one's the sweetest. Oh, one. I agree. That is, that, the, that is the most mile. sweet. That one feels very tame. More slushy, icy vibe than like sweet. Listen, I, no, you're no, my no. guest. I want you to have it. You're the lemon guy. Yeah, just lemon flavor in general might be, to me, what strawberry is to you. Ooh. Like I've just, I just, oh, really? Lemon anything up and I'm, I'm more interested. <sighs> I will say I love lemon. It's underrated. I hear you. Like my mom's lemon bars. Dude. Yeah, brownies or lemon bars? Lemon bars. Yeah. I'm fruit over chocolate. 
I'm sure. also lemon bars over brownies all day. All day. Let's just no, yeah, right, I want right. to know what we're stepping in with all four and be done with them. It's over there like a Christmas present. <laughs> like, like, let's just do um. it. Ooh. Good. Oh, that works. I have these ranked already. You do? Yeah. Me too. Go. Lemonade, the cucumber, strawberry, and then the blueberry lavender. We are going to differ. You can find that frozen lemonade anywhere, and maybe some places do it better. These are your stars. Number one, strawberry hibiscus. Ken, in the first episode for this, actually promoted this one. He was right on. That is the best. Number two is this. All right. Both these lemonade. flavors work so good together. The cucumber and the watermelon pair perfectly. Let me make it's sure. fantastic. Mm. So three lemon, four blueberry. So we both have blueberry lavender down at the bottom. Yeah, I stand by it. So I'm one, two, three, four. Okay, I'll leave this over by you. That is underrated. That's really good it for cucumber. Good. The yeah, cucumber flavor really does not overpower it at all. And don't worry, I brought the meat board with me. It travels and so does the Spartan Ghost. We are going to do the waffle. Oh, okay, I see. So grab your Smucker's syrup. I want to do a bite with just the waffle. I want you to experience this. Oh, because do they do, is this like You can a, do like a chicken a... and waffle. Get ready. Just get ready. Okay, I'm ready. Get the big piece. All right, all right. Do, do your thing. Oh, yeah. mm. That's a really good waffle. Out of nowhere. I need to try it without the syrup. Yeah, do it. That's really good. It's insane. Wow. <laughs> You're not ready for it. You would never think this place is a waffle place. Best waffles I've ever had. I don't want to get too dramatic right here in the middle. I but, will. Uh, that is, Dude. that is, uh, that's not too bad. Where else would you take your family for a waffle? I wouldn't take my family. I don't want to share that. <laughs> Okay, now... Daddy's going out alone Dad. to get a waffle. Now we're going to do a little play on a chicken and waffle, so let's cut this out. Confession time. I'm very aware of chicken and waffles as a thing. Yeah. Where do you stand in the chicken and waffle game? I've never... This is it. This is the first time I've ever You've actually had... you chicken and waffles? Chicken and waffles together. Oh I've my never gosh, done I'm honored. I've never done it. I know. I've never been a fan. All it's right. not been a thing that I've, like, loved. I'm setting you up for later. All right, but all right. I want you to do this first. Okay. It doesn't feel like cohesive chicken and waffles. You know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like you're like they're fighting each other almost. Yeah. Like where are we forcing this? You know? Yeah. Let them get divorced. You know what? <laughs> some relationships aren't meant. Start over. Find something that works for you. <laughs> and that's always been my opinion of chicken and waffles. But they have a waffle chicken sandwich. All right. I'm not underselling it when I say it changed my life. These are the honey butter chicken tenders. These are their sweeter ones. These then? are their sweeter ones. So I didn't do like any spicy pie. I They're the didn't same. Realize that. Boom. Right when we finished. Tyler, dude. There you go. Look. No, at the dog. This. Look at this. We're gonna square this up. Look at the sauce. No one has ever sauced us that well. Wow. Look at this. I like how it's got like, I don't know what you call this, the pleating. Yeah. <laughs> the buns are pleated. <laughs> they're toasted. Those are grill marks. Well, uh, yeah, but like they're not, they did They're it. not dockers. Sit down, no one can even see you, Spence. What are we doing? <laughs> First episode? That, see, that's how excited I was. <laughs> I was like, they pleated the buns. <laughs> they pleated the buns. They're late age dockers. Corduroys. Give me that pickle. I just don't want it. Oh, uh, yeah. Try it. You're a pickle guy. Love. Oh, how can you not love pickles, right? I'm a dill pickle guy. You're going to ruin a pickle. Really? You step out of that dill realm and I get real upset. Right? It's when you think you're getting a deal and they're like, ha 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 ha, surprise, sweet pickle. I'm like, ooh. That's a that's betrayal on a level of like when you think you're eating a chocolate chip cookie and it's actually a raisin cookie. <laughs> oh, makes me furious. I lose my mind. <laughs> I hate being lied to. Oh, okay, so you were talking about this. So this also wasn't on the last episode. While talking to Tyler and friends up at the front, they're like, we do have a double decker waffle chicken sandwich. You, Spence Roper, aren't ready for it. I'm not so ready I because have... my jaw, I can't dislocate my jaw to fit this in my mouth. <laughs> this is this is a first timer, and this is for me. You don't get this. You can't have this. This take is it. just for me. Yeah, I take. I want to see. There's you. no way. <laughs> No I want to see you bite that. Get your sweet mouth around <laughs> this whole thing. There's no way it's possible. It looks cool. It, it looks, looks great. Awesome. But this is why you do the show. But then you have to take it. You're gonna have to take it apart to eat it. Hundred percent. One thousand percent. It's too care. cool to eat. This is a trophy. Put it on your bookshelf. And I'm not gonna lie to you all. This is coming home with me. We're just gonna split this. So this is the one we're eating. It's but the this same is thing. The double decker. 
Yep. So this is the waffle chicken sandwich. It's the chicken and waffle play, but it's got the pickles and coleslaw. And this is the Big Mac version. If you're on a date with someone you like, they can house some food as well. This is it. You this gotta sit that on a plate, like, me, 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 oh, I see this going somewhere. Like, I This isn't it. a first date item. This is, you already like each other, let's yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, you're right, like you're you, right. This is, we've already made out, let's make out with the sandwich. That's that situation. Whew. Yo, excuse me. Yeah. Did not expect this kind of spicy <laughs> talk. Mm -hmm. It's a spicy episode, Spence Rover. Make sure you get a pickle and the coleslaw. Yep. Add just a little of the Houston sauce. There's already some on it. But Paul is saying okay. uh, that he thinks Tyler didn't do his job well, apparently. I think he did a great job. Mmm. Mmm. So. <laughs> Try that. Yeah. I can't wait. I want to dive into this. Mm. <laughs> I, what do you think of that? That's really good. That's isn't, really that, good. isn't that insane? Whatever, whether it's the coleslaw or the sauce, like something. Completely something changes. Something they've done here, like binds it together better. I don't know if it's the lack of syrup or the oh. addition of the acid of the pickle. Did, but I, like you, I would have never reached for this. He likes you? <laughs> no, I. This is a date, Paul. I didn't Shut mean up. to give you the wrong idea here. <laughs> I'm here for the food. The food. I know you are. I would never have gotten a waffle chicken sandwich if it wasn't I like for you as show. a friend, Paul. Shut, can I finish with <laughs> this guy? I would have never gotten a waffle chicken sandwich, and this changed my life. It is not only the best waffle chicken sandwich, it's the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. That's why we're here a second time. This is it. Tell me there's better out there. Can't I can't. It. I can't. I can't I, do it's, it. uh, it's incredible. So good. This show puts me in a weird situation because I want to be enthusiastic right now, but I really want to win my draft at the end, so I have to play it coy. Like, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, okay. Ah, uh, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. This little fella, do you stay right here? Don't you go anywhere? Let's get this tray out of the way. Let's have some fun. Now it's time for the trio of chicken sandwiches at Houston Hot Chicken. And I've done something, I've gone crazy. I've gone wild. None of these were in the first episode, Spencer Roper. None what? of them. For the plain chicken sandwich, I didn't even do a chicken breast. Behind these pleated buns, I did two tenders. You can get their chicken sandwich with tenders instead of a breast. And I like their tenders more here. So boom, modification. This is their specialty item right now. It is the buffalo chicken sandwich but it's two breasts. We oh, got a double. Oh, have you ever oh, had a double chicken I have sandwich? It, I have it. Me neither. I've had a double hot dog. I've had a double burger. Never had a double chicken. Today's the day. And the cheesy hot chicken sandwich, which was in the first episode, I also did a double, and this is uh, their this spicy is, this level. This is the first one. So Ramping us up. Oreos, are you a regular Oreo guy or a double stuff? Double Oreo? stuff. Okay. Double stuff. Regular can go to hell. All huh? right. What about you? You gotta bring your opinion too. I just didn't want to bring it too hard since you're so wrong. And You're so a regular then, guy? I just no. Think, I just think you run into that you run into trouble sometimes with doubles because then you trouble get, with flavor? Never. No, but you get too much of one thing sometimes. No. You don't think you get double stuff should be the Oreo. Regular Oreo milk, boom. I'm good. Double stuff. Have you ever seen a bigger container of syrup that no one has taken care of us like this? This is their Houston sauce in pints. Yeah. And then this is rich. You can't have this. This is all mine. Tyler's running a tight ship here. Let's do the plain. This is going to be just a mild. So I've had chicken sandwiches with tenders and with breasts, and I have a preference. Oh. This is the problem that I run into when it's the tenders. It falls I feel apart. Like it falls apart. It can, but sometimes you got to sacrifice for better flavor. Do you want ranch or yeah, yeah, Houston as, sauce? Yeah, as a nod to my boy, the ranch, the ranch baby, baby over here, I'm going to take a <laughs> no nice green sauce sip of ranch. This no green sauce, but. Ranch is one of those staples oh. where if they crush it, like mm. you're like, oh, why would I get anything else? Oh, I don't think this was in the first episode either. They're now advertising house made ranch and you can tell a difference. That is fantastic. Oh man. But you see, I'm running into that problem. I hear you. But so you're but saying that the patty is different so than the tender. Yeah. Like, well, I guess the tenders typically tend to be a little, a little bit thicker. thicker. You get kind of a more like, oh, that's the word I use. I wonder oh. if there's some way we could solve this problem. Thick patties. Ugh. Popeyes figured it out. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to tell you what to do. I just run a restaurant. I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, let's go with our specialty item of the day. Huh, in that, July. Need, that needs the ranch though. It does, right? Yeah, you're coming along, ranch baby. First time ever, a double-breasted. Do you see how like the patties are, while wider, oh, a no. little thinner? Yep. 
no, double works here. Perfectly. Actually, this might be the perfect. It's the perfect place it to get a double. Might be like the perfect thickness. I guess they just solved the problem. There's already a genius in the house. Oh boy. It's like I've done this place before and I know the menu. Back of my hand status. Let's no, get the ranch. Tell me which one this is. This is their buffalo. Oh, this is the buffalo. This is a oh, buffalo. Yeah. So this is a ranch little... must. This is a oh, yeah. have to. Oh. Because buffalo wings and ranch, like, if you're not eating wings with ranch, like, what are you eating? Nothing great. You're eating a mistake. Oh. Oh. That's a great buffalo. And the double's not too much. No, it, in fact, it would be not enough. I was going to say the same thing. Their breasts are a little bit thinner here at Houston Hot Chicken. Which is fine. Which is Which fine. is fine. This is the perfect place. Go double. The double, you are going to love it. Go to Houston Hot Chicken, get a second breast. Two breasts are always better than one. I have always said. I like all breasts. Yeah. Huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. I want to do a strike zone bite. Buffalo deserves it. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, that's what I should have done. Yeah, I'm just good. I just good taste. Uh huh? Mm. I would say for a buffalo, like a buffalo sauce is a hot sauce though, right? Am I, yeah. am I crazy? This is definitely a medium. It's not a hot. This is, okay. All right. I'm getting ready to get burned here. Apparently this is a medium. Oh man. I'm so happy you're here. You are so screwed. <laughs> Someone is going to leave here disappointed. <laughs> it's not going to be me. Uh, we both think we know who it is. <laughs> This is their hot. They have two levels hotter than this, just a heads up. We did a double again. This is their cheesy hot chicken. So there's a little bit of a cheese sauce. Is it that same cheese sauce that was on the fries? fries? Yep. Very good cheese You know sauce. I'm ranch baby and again. I think I might, uh, I've mm. neglected that avocado. Is this an avocado ranch? Is that what this mm -hmm. is? Oh. Oh, it's cilantro avocado. Oh, cilantro. Mm, okay. Yeah, actually. I don't, it's not like an avocado ranch. It's like a cilantro avocado. I don't love cilantro. I, I'm, I'm falling into the soap category with cilantro. That. The burning is there. This is the first one where it's like, it gets into your throat. Oh man, I'm instantly like having flashbacks. Uh-oh. <sighs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> oh man. Oh, PTSD is coming in hot. How do you feel? Look, if you need me to land the plane for you on the rest of this, that's fine. Oh no, I'm going with you the whole way, but this is going to be bad. I forgot how bad it was until just this moment. Where are you? You're fine. You're yeah, not even faced. No, this is good though. I like this. That's a little too much. It this, lingers this is, too much yeah, for me. There's no right or wrong. No, but do you find that pleasant right now? This is nice. This oh. would probably be my, this would probably be the level that I like. If I have a gripe, some people are like, okay, you fasten your seatbelt, cause this, you are about to get launched to the moon. Oh, are you ready for this? Are you sure <laughs> they make me sign a waiver? You do have to sign like, a waiver for this. And then it's like, like two little drops of Tabasco and you're like, oh no. <laughs> also, I think that ranch helps tame spice. It does. I will say you're fine. You're good. That was a big bite. Of you took a big bite? I took a big bite. I'm a man. Come on now. You find that pleasant. You like that. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh. Spence, that's too hot. Notice how I'm okay, but I'm not happy. There's a difference. I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick. I don't even know what to say to him right now. It, it's like a little bit spicy. I call him ranch baby just because I don't want him to hear me just call him baby. It's not that bad. <laughs> I thought it was a term of endearment. Oh, I, what? <laughs> <laughs> this ranch, though, house made, they had Ken's ranch before not now now since i've already signed the waiver do i have to sign it again yes really it's an it's a per oh, use uh -huh. yeah do it oh you give me that yes okay oh, will, yeah. you, will you tell me my levels so yes. honey butter honey butter mild, mild yeah, medium there, buffalo, buffalo spicy lift the off and that's your oh, oh and the spice right is dry, dry, rub. Rub. dry rub dry rub yeah yeah, yeah. all right so he doesn't have no idea thank you so much Tyler, the man. <laughs> oh, this rules. Let's say it. I acknowledge the following due to its extremely hot nature. We'll see. I mean, it probably is. It probably is. I'm not even trying to flex. I've You're just flexing been, so hard. I've been disappointed so many times. <laughs> it's worth coming back and doing an episode again just for this. Okay. This is worth it. The jalapeno was turned into a robot. That's what it tastes like. I hear a lot of talking, not a lot of signing over there. All right, oh, it's, oh, what am I supposed to sign with? My, uh, my sauce stained fingers? <laughs> okay, blah, blah, blah. Due to its extremely hot nature, eat a Houston, Texas hot chicken. Houston, we have a problem sandwich and or chicken tender carries with the potential for certain risks, some of which may be reasonably foreseeable. <laughs> 
I will say to that foreseeable, we'll see. It's, I've signed long time. He got a pen, still hasn't signed. A lot of talking. A lot of talking. Unbelievable. You got sweat on your nose. You, you're you not ready for this. You think you're ready. Sweat on my nose. It's 90 million yeah, degrees we're outside. Air conditioning here. All right. Sign it. Let's go. A lot of talking. Not a lot of signing. Go. I don't know why you want me to disrespect you. On your show, this is your show. I'm your guest and you're begging me. We are not messing around. Sign and date. Happy now? I'm happy. So cocky. I'm not cocky. Here, I'm excited. I'm excited for some heat. So as tradition, even though we've kind of been dancing around these flavors all meal, we are going to just do them all now in an ascending order. So this is honey butter. But this is what's on the sandwich. Waffle as sandwich. Well. Yep. Yeah. This was waffle sandwich. Honey butter in its truest form. And I'm gonna do this sauce because mm -hmm. it's so good. Not really if such a good sauce. Let so that's add. hot, like out of the yeah. oven hot. Yeah, temperature, gotcha. And then I haven't really had a lot to do with this cilantro avocado sauce. So I'm gonna do that with the mild just for fun. I will say, as green boy, this green sauce is fine. Not your favorite. What's it lacking? It's ranch with a little bit of avocado that you barely note the avocado. The cilantro is a little stronger. It's just that the ranch is really good. So this so, is your mild. Like if you're trying to avoid spicy, like, cause some people like it destroys their stuff, like the reflux or whatever. And so they they always have to eat like the bland stuff. You feel bad, like, like, cause they're like, I just have to eat this, nothing. But that's, the honey butter is really good. It's really good. Okay, you ready for the mild? I'm not already spicy. Eaten. Oh yeah, you think that I, we know honey butter's not spicy. He's You're stalling. He's stalling. stalling. I am not stalling. Look at stalling. him stall. Oh. Spent eight minutes talking oh, about I mean, honey butter. Look I at was, this. I was just trying to throw a bone because it sounds so like much I'm, talking. It sounds like Paul has kind of been like, ooh, now this is spicy. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like table salt. And he's like, ah, ah, That's ah. not true. I have a very, very well-adjusted palate. How dare you? All right. Eat the mild. What are we doing? You just saw stalling at its finest. Spencer handled this much better than you. Twice. This is medium. medium. This is where it's gonna kiss your lips. Whoa, big bite. There was someone. Are you hungry still? No, but uh, someone cut this about, big. I have another normal, look at this, toothpick and everything. All right. I've taken care of you. What more do you want from me? This is the A first. A little less disrespect for stars. <laughs> you get what you give. <laughs> But look at these tenders, man. Like the chicken's really good. The shit. These tenders are second to none. Mediums where it's an enjoyable heat. Actually, that's what's lost on this. Is all this chicken is exceptionally good. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't have time for it because really we're talking about everything really else. But look how big these are. If this you're going to eat is. chicken, I have zero issues saying this is where you should eat. Hundred percent. Any chicken you get, it, this is the best chicken. It's so good. Because I've never eaten here before. Like this. Well, is this is your never, first time. Ever, ever, ever. You're clean slate in this. Yep. Okay, buffalo. I will say. I am missing a blue cheese. You know how you were saying, like, if you're not having That's ranch, what are you ranch. having? Yeah, you know what? Blue I cheese. was wrong. It, it, it's blue cheese is the one, but mm -hmm. is that not even, do they have it here? They might have a Ken's blue cheese in there. Well, so like, I didn't see it, but oh. Tyler, premonition. He's ahead of the game. Got you guys there. He knows we're going to need this. We're going to have this right here in about 60 seconds. We're going to need that. Unless he stalls, then it could be three to four minutes. Unbelievable. <laughs> that buffalo could be spicier. I yeah. agree with you now. I, In the sandwich with the double breasted, I feel like I got maybe more, but on its own, uh, yeah. I think you need a little I bit more. I stand by You're my right. buffalo assessment. You were right. As painful as it is to say, Spence was right. So now this is the hot that was this on is the chicken the sandwich. Yeah, this is liftoff, also known as scorpion. Do I love spicy breasts? Absolutely. <sighs> and then, oh, I don't even want to. Okay, so this is spicy. I'm not worried about this. We know it, but I just want to give it another razzmatazz. Oh, please. Mm. See, and that's where... Yeah. I'm gonna get the vanilla shake going early. This is to help bring the spice down. So for flavor on spice, this one... Well, I mean... Oh no, you went ahead of me! Oh, I, I did just eat the spicy one. Oh, you just did lift off! I'm sorry. Okay. This one's really good. Well, I guess I gotta just catch up now. For stalling, he jumped ahead of me. Because I wasn't stalled. So you don't even need to do hot now. I'll give it its due. Sure. I, I can't even tell if this is. That this one is, is the you see one, that darkness? This is the oh. reaper, or which is this one? Lift off scorpion. Mm. Lift off is the scorpion, and then this is the reaper and the scorpion. Yeah, you're fine. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm just here eating chicken. If you go through this unfazed, you're never coming back on the show. <laughs> well, I will be coming back and demanding an apology. <laughs> uh -uh. That's why you're not coming back. No, because he, he, the apology is not coming. The, the apology is <laughs> not, not coming, coming and the embarrassment will never be through. <laughs>
That didn't get you. Here, let me do another no, one. No, 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 no. You're not double biting. You think you think that I'm doing this as an excuse, like, oh, I can't do this one though. Maybe I just got one that they accidentally did spice that part. I don't know. <gasps> it's so spicy, it broke my toothpick. Okay, Paul, you were right. Stop. The patronizing is the worst part. What are you, my wife? Oh, so she thinks you're soft too? Uh -huh. She's pretty cool. Sounds like we agree on a lot of things. <laughs> the thing is, it just lingers. Oh, man. You know, you put me in such a pickle because I just want to try this. But now I, everyone's watching it. It's like, oh, it's burning him. He's a bitch, but he won't admit it. And I, I just want to try this. I, I will tell you, in your defense, like the liftoff did burn me more the first time. That's your piece right there. Okay. Oh, man. I'm not saying that it's not spicy. I'm yeah. not saying that. I want to be real clear. Can I tell I'm sitting here with you. I'm fine. I'm yeah. existing. I'm not in the bathroom. I can do it. Quit calling me soft. I'm right there with liftoff. Right all right, there with all right. Let's just reset. Let's reset our friendship. Okay. Let's, re <laughs> Before Let's the do this together. We're Thelma and Louise <laughs> off the cliff with Houston. We have a problem. Now, are you dipping or are you going? Are you I, going? I can't contaminate the ranch with this. I am going to go. Are you raw dogging it? I'm raw dogging All right. It. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, Paul, do we need to hold hands? <laughs> how do they hold hands? I've never held hands okay, with yeah, you. Let's see. This is it. We're coming in the way. Here we go. Okay. Shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 That's hot, dude. Huh? There's people. Huh? Uh, that are watching us. <clears throat> I'm trying to contain. Oh my gosh. I can't even. <laughs> How are you breathing? I oh! I've actually been holding my breath for like a minute. <laughs> it keeps getting hotter. It keeps getting hotter. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Whew. Why did I do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Don't order that. Don't order. Don't order. Oh. <laughs> tear, tear running down my face. <laughs> it's so bad. This is very hot. <laughs> Whew. Your sweat on oh, your face. That's not I... sweat, that's tears. <laughs> oh my. Oh. It's, it's like a whole experience. Can we just get a cup of ice? <laughs> Whoo, baby. I gotta tell you, Spencer was wrong though. This helps so much. Really? Mm -hmm. I've never liked blueberry lavender more in my entire life. Please, thank you, please. Oh shit. Breathing hurts. Oh man, thank you. My lips, I can't feel them. I can't see. This happened last time. Oh. Oh, is it not letting up either? Is no, I told you, 41 hurt? minutes, man. Oh, I almost touched my face. Don't do it. <laughs> well, here we have this so far Why away. would you do it? <laughs> the minute out, ice is out of your mouth, it's just the burning. Mm. Mm, oh. That's not the best thing on the menu. It is the wildest thing on the menu. Oh. Huh. 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 No. How would you describe how it feels right Just now? Just pain. Just pain. Like the top of my mouth <sighs> oh, and on the side of my lips. Uh -huh. It feels like someone just slapped. Yeah. Man, it's so hot it burns you twice. Don't worry, tomorrow it's coming back. Oh. What's crazy is the jump from there. Oh. Oh, the jump is huge. There's that scorpion one. Yeah. It's good. This one is. How come you, like you don't sweat though when you're hot? Uh -uh. Like my eyes are like pouring. That's tears you said, not sweat. Remember, you are dripping. I don't. I'm not a big sweater. It's like I've been told by many people that I don't sweat much. <laughs> you know what, Paul? You don't sweat. Much. You don't sweat much. No, I don't. Oh, that's not fair. Mm. Oh, that's just insane. Why? Oh. Hey, waffles, right? Give me a piece of that waffle. This will help. Nope. It'd be more spicy. Uh huh. Waffle didn't help. Back to blueberry lavender. Oh, the, 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 the waffle breathing out. It the hurt. waffle respiced it. It respiced it. It was not good. Well, that's a trick. Oh. Anyway, you know this might be the most cooling flavor. It is. Hey, uh, blueberry lavender is. A, oh no! Look, I lost control of my. I can't. I don't know what you're doing. Oh. <sighs> This is the part where I'm like, I don't think I can do the episode. I don't know how to finish talking. I said that I would wrap it up for you. Ooh, shit, mother <laughs> Oh, it's hurt. Oh, that's that's so spicy. I just want to feel good again. You, you handled it really well, though. I'm really proud of you. This feels like it's going to be tingling for a while. How would anyone eat a full tender? You know that there's some crazy no monsters. Way, <laughs> 
I, I hate crunching ice, but suddenly um, I'm like, hey, you know what? If ice isn't actively in my mouth, I'm dying. That was pretty hot. The way the, the waffle double crossed us right there at the end. What the I hell? I wasn't was ready that? for that. What the hell? How did that happen? It upped it. Usually spicy, oh. like eating like bread or something. Yeah, it's supposed to is help. Is one of the takedowns, but their waffle. That shot it up. More bad. It's disrespectful, Waffle. Yeah. You, I took you first in last episode's draft. You do that to me? See, but I think that's the thing. We said too much good about Waffle. It got, it got, it got too big for its britches. It it's arrogant. Like, I'm going to hurt these people. <laughs> I'm going to hurt these people who love me. That's hot. That's unbelievably, unbelievably hot. hot. It's very hot. You are handling it so well. Okay, is that it's the like hottest thing you've ever tasted? Mm, I've had like that level of hot. It's tied. Uh, yeah, that's probably... Okay. I wouldn't want to go any hotter. I mean... But neither of us spit out. We did it. Yeah. Coleslaw. That's a solid staple standard side. This, the acid of these frozen lemonades saved me. There's something about... Blue and, berry And lavender. you were... Yeah. I think that's that's the extinguisher right there. It's the extinguisher of Houston. We have a problem. That made the biggest difference. If you're going to sign the waiver, get the extinguisher. <laughs> and this is why you do the show and get everything. So you know, like, when we just had the lemonades, we're like, what's the point of this? It was number four. Now it's number two. Now it's right there. You have to have this if you're going to get the spiciest chicken in the world. It's like, is the favorite thing in your house the fire alarm? No. <laughs> but you still have a fire alarm in your house. But you have one. Like there's like, should have there's like 20 things I like better in my house than the fire alarm. <laughs> a few different couches. Even my least favorite couch I still like better than the fire alarm. But you need But I fire. need it. Yeah. But I need it. We did Thelma and Louisa. We did it. We had a moment. I think we bond. Is that bonding? That's male bonding at its finest. I don't think the camera did it justice. You were sweating. But you dead. handled it very well. I do think that having a family 13 feet away from us helped us contain a little. Uh, I can't tell if like being at home made that better, being with you made it better, or the blueberry lavender made it better, but this was not as bad as last time. Maybe I just have built up a tolerance. Maybe I'm becoming Spence Roper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm what's, becoming hard. What's your favorite sauce? What's he, uh, <laughs> I'm becoming hard. He's turning green. We got a green boy. We got, we got another be green, a green boy. boy soon enough. How hard would you say you are right now? <laughs> Say that, mm. that was my. Oh, here we go. Oh, how many shakes are there? Hey, there's that right there. My man. Oh, that waffle shake. Oh, dang. Is that's that the what I think it is? That's maple syrup. It is maple syrup. Yeah, that's uh, it. They have six shakes, including vanilla. Oh, so with the yeah chocolates. It's, now it's, it is just vanilla. This is with that chocolate, chocolate or vanilla chocolate. I wonder what this will taste like. Oh, it's a mystery. It's very Hershey syrup. I will say from last episode, mm. the best. That's Tyler, exactly thank you so much. I got you guys. That's exactly what we thought it was. It's very normal, but it's still good. If you like that, I will say their vanilla soft serve is fantastic. It's very good. Well, if you like that. Itself. You've stood up in this episode more than any other episode. Well, it's, I want people to realize that I came <laughs> dressed for this. <laughs> you want people to see the onesie? All, All right. right. We're going to go from chocolate to strawberry. And I, I have a feeling that this is going to be the same experience here. But I, it's going to be better, though. Well, that's right, because oh. you're not just a ranch baby. You're I'm a strawberry boy. You're a strawberry boy. Yeah. Here's the thing. You can do strawberry easier than chocolate. But in the fruits like this, like I'm, yeah. I'm raspberry all day long. If, oh, over strawberry. That's an option. It's kind of that standard strawberry sauce. Yeah. It's so good. It's it is like, so good. good. Like the strawberry <laughs> sauce is better than the chocolate sauce. That's like, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I feel like their soft serve lends to fruit more than chocolate. I don't know why. It's just a, yeah. it's my feeling. Yeah. I, but now we're going to do the cookie shake. They have a chocolate chip cookie, a banana bread cookie, and a cookie monster cookie, but we did chocolate chip cookie shake this time. I did verify that these were chocolate chips, not raisins, masquerade as chocolate chips, the ultimate mm. deception. Yeah, I like it better than the cookie monster. Mm. So they take out a full puck cookie, toss it in there, and they don't skimp. That, ooh, is so much better with the chocolate chip cookie. I bet you could even ask, like, I bet you could ask for a double puck this baby. A double so, puck cookie? Yeah, and call it the, the double mother pucker. And, <laughs> and I would pay the extra five bucks, whatever it costs. Money is no price. Do it. Double mother pucker. Now, this is the Mondi, which is going to be your vanilla soft serve with the lemonade. This was your favorite, so we're going to let you go first. All right. Oh, interesting. So they do the soft serve with the icy lemonade. They just... <laughs> I feel like the textures fight each other. Yeah, it's wrong. Because we did strawberry hibiscus last time. So I decided to do a different one. Honestly, was it the same, same issue? You don't icy an ice cream. When the cliche shake exists, there's no reason to get the money. Yeah. And now 
we end with the waffle shake. This is the coupe de gras, the dessert of desserts. You go ahead, Spence. I go scoot in. I go in for the railing. Don't, don't even mess around. Okay, you gotta get a little bit. Oh, you know, I'm gonna have to take more than one bite. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. mm. Easily my favorite. This actually, this kind of messes up my draft a little bit. Yeah, it will. These waffles are second to none, man. There's waffles all the way down this thing. Yeah, fully submerged waffle and vanilla shake. The aesthetic of this, with the waffles on top, and mm. you can see like the syrup in there. I would come here just for that. I only get this. Yeah, the flavoring of that vanilla soft serve with the waffle and maple syrup, that's why you do the show. Finding this, I would come just for this. Mm. So I'm gonna make pause with this editing, but the, this <laughs> bangs. This is so good. <laughs> in addition to the shakes, they do have three cookies from Pucks. It's the chocolate pucks, cookies, and treats. There are separate. There, I feel. I feel like they're just yeah. They're shipped in. And, and I'm assuming if you wanted, you could do the cookie shake with any of these three. Right? Yes, 100. percent We did the Cookie Monster last time. The Cookie Monster, it's like a butterscotch white chocolate, and then honestly, me and Spencer could not figure out what the blue. If it's just like dye or if it's a flavor, I've looked online everywhere to find out what this is. It's I can't gotta be because the it's gotta be a blue, blue coloring. Blue because of Cookie Monster. I feel like it's just food coloring. And then it's got butterscotch chocolate chip and white chocolate chips. It's a lot going on. Like this that, is good, this but this is, is so rich. But what do you think? Because I mean, that is, a, that is a lot. Yeah, and then this is just the chocolate chip cookie. Their chocolate chip cookie, I remember last time, dude. I love the thickness. Oh. I love that. If you warm that up in the microwave, dude. That's probably, that's probably a ticket, yeah. Shut the door, lock it, and don't let anyone in while you're just going to town on that cookie. It's so good. Mm. So this is banana bread, white chocolate. Least favorite. I'm not a big banana bread guy. I love banana bread. Oh, do you? Banana bread, zucchini bread, which surprisingly tastes almost exactly the same as banana bread. <laughs> I've always bread. said that too. I've always thought that. I'm like, it does, it does. it's interchangeable. I don't even understand how they do it, but it is. But if you eat a zucchini and a banana, not at all the same. No, Very not. different. <laughs> but in bread, indistinguishable. <laughs> But yeah, it's, I mean, it's okay. Least of my three, but the, the chocolate chip cookie, that's the one. Now that we've had everything at He's Not Chicken, me for the second time, Spence for the first time, it's time for the segments of the show. Leftover draft, the perfect order, and the best thing on the menu. Rules are simple for the leftover draft. Guests always go first. Once it's taken, you can't have it. Spence Roper, lead us off. What do you got? My number one is so easy. It's the uh, chicken waffle set. Yeah. I mean, you knew, yeah. you knew. There's no way. It was basically telling you what I was going to pick by how many times I was asking you. So who gets to go first? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be the number one pick. It wasn't drafted in the first round last time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Huge mistake. Can I guess what I think your first one is? My guess is that you were going to pick your number one was going to be the fusion, the fusion fries. The fusion fries, he knew, you know me. Yeah. Fusion fries, number one overall pick is the fusion fries. Those aren't looking up at anybody. I love them. I love them as much as I did last time. The fusion fries here are a must get. I hope that was your pick because my number two is the loaded fries. Yeah. The loaded fries. But see, you probably like those more. I, so I so did. So we got what we I wanted. Did. Knowing your affection for the waffles, the waffle sandwich, and what this place offers. I have to go waffle shake in the second round. Yeah. I can't, no, I can't, I, go, I have to have the other waffle item that is so good. So in the second round, the waffle shake. That's all right, it's you get the shake, I got the two good sandwich. My number three, let's see, is it still here? Our double breast, not the buffalo, but double spicy. breast spicy. The, which, the cheesy chicken sandwich. Cheesy chicken sandwich. That's my number three. That's amazing, because I was hoping you'd take that, because with my third pick, I want to take the buffalo chicken sandwich double-breasted. Uh, That's exactly what I was going for in the third round. I think they should keep it. Houston, you guys, you have so many of these like dry rub seasonings here. That's actually like a sauce and it's really nice. If someone wanted to get like a saucy sandwich or a tender, that buffalo sauce, I like it. It could be a little hotter. I'm yeah. starting to harden up like Spence Roper. A double-breasted chicken sandwich from Houston Hot Chicken. I'll go buffalo. I mean, to me, a buffalo, it is spicy, right? It's spicy. It's starting to not get so spicy. That's what I thought when I started this show, Spence. You'd be surprised how many people, buffalo is just a flavor now. Right, right, It's right. crazy. It's not a flavor that tries to knock all your teeth out, but it's a flavor that's gonna pinch you. It's gonna pinch you on the butt when you weren't expecting it. That's what it's gonna do. Yeah, sure. Like, whoa, what was that? Oh, buffalo, buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. <laughs> Please. Let's see, for my fourth pick, 
He's doing it. And it should be done. The frozen lemonade. Very, very good. Wow, I'm shocked that that's where you went. Interesting, okay. Fourth round for me. That's, mmm. They're good enough on their own, I don't care. I took him in the first round last year. Taking him in the fourth round out, just the waffles. Mm. The waffles here are so good. Oh, you know what? That's a good sleeper. Dang it. That's yeah. a sleeper. Just, if I want a waffle, what can I order? You can just order them as a side. You can yeah. get a platter of waffles and serve. So like that waffle that we got, yeah. you can order like blah, 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 uh -huh. and a waffle yep. on the side. Yep. Waffles are an item on this menu. I, I have to draft them. They are. A, you have to draft them. So I'm taking them. <sighs> you know, asterisk on this draft because I did not realize That's, that was the that, option. That absolutely is an option. How oh. dare you? Oh. So he, clearly he didn't watch the first obviously episode, it's an didn't do his homework. It's been there. It's there. Obviously it's an option because you picked it. Oh, sorry. I didn't watch every bit of tape before the game. <laughs> That's not I, something Peyton Manning ever said. I he watched. Even. The greats watch. <laughs> if you want to win a draft, fifth round. All right, all right. This hurts because the waffle, absolutely would have picked the waffle if I had a bread of a... Uh, if I had prepared. I have no desserts in my draft. Competition got the number one, but the cookie shake, very, very, like if you're a cookie dough person at yeah. all, fantastic. you're gonna be it's very good. not disappointed. Speaking of disappointment, you're about to be disappointed. We'll see. You're about to get so mad at yourself. You're gonna slap yourself as hard as that sauce because in the fifth round, the disrespect can't be overstated. I'm taking the chicken tortilla soup. Oh my. That fantastic, I left it for you all five rounds and you abandoned it. You raved it and you left it out on the bench. How can you not draft the tortilla soup? I'll tell you how he can not draft <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> is, what? I'm taking it. Is steal of the draft. Here's the, 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 the <laughs> waffles is the that? steal. Okay, it, look. <laughs> how did you look, I, yeah, no, the, did I miss on the tortilla soup or did I just choose wrong? I, Both. <laughs> it's, it's very good. The tortilla soup would be like many visits later. Okay. They're like, what else is good here? They're like, oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> don't get me started about that tortilla soup. Yeah, I know you're right. That tortilla soup was a swing and a miss. I got a full draft. I got like, a full your team. three, four, fives are so strong that it, I wouldn't sleep on my one or two either. You, Fusion fries and waffle shake aren't looking up at anyone. How yeah, dare you? Yeah, yeah. It's perfect order of time. I wonder if it's going to differ. Uh, Spence Roper, what is your perfect order at Houston Hot Chicken? I just want to clarify that this would be two people eating this. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I always assume my wife's We'd with me. We'd be splitting this. Yeah. Mine is the waffle chicken sandwich yep. with the side of the loaded fries. Those loaded fries, boom, they hit. And then we're... Uh, or boop, frozen lemonade. lemonade. Yep. No special fruity flavors necessary. I just realized my perfect order, not particularly spicy. No. no there's no spicy at all. No. What heat are you putting the low oh, fries? But, but the my low fries are going to be medium. Medium, right? That's recommended by me, just so we're clear. Softy Paul. Because we're sharing. Oh, don't you. I accept that the level of spicy that I like is not good for some people. Most people. Uh, that medium spicy, very, very good. Medium spicy, great. No one's gonna be like, you ruined tomorrow for me. You know? <laughs> and then the, we're heading out with the waffle shake. You gotta head out with the waffle Absolutely, gotta head out with the waffle shake. We're close, that's a good order. It's not the perfect order. This is the perfect order for when I'm paying. When yes, I'm yes. <laughs> it's the waffle chicken sandwich. We're cutting that in half, we're sharing it. It's the fusion fries on medium, absolutely. I have been turned. I put frozen lemonade in the first episode. I've changed. I've upgraded my order. Strawberry hibiscus frozen lemonade. I didn't know you did the it lemonade is, in the first episode. I did. Episode. I know uh -huh. you didn't watch. Thank you for reminding me. Um, watch tape next time. Ken nailed it. It's the strawberry hibiscus. That is the best frozen lemonade. And of course, the waffle shake to end it. You're getting waffles at the beginning, waffles at the end. That's your perfect order at Houston Hot Chicken. You'll never be upset when you get that. It's right. perfect. You need this tub of ranch while you're at it. But I think Spence, in unison, we can just say this at the count of three, what is the best thing on the menu at Houston Hot Chicken? One, two, three, the waffle, waffle chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. It is, it's two for two. I know it now with a surety. I've done this restaurant twice. Nothing's changed. That is the best thing it's, on the menu. It's the best thing on the menu. It's the best chicken sandwich on the in the earth. city, on the yeah. earth, on earth. It really is. I called it in the first episode, the change your life waffle chicken sandwich. I stand by that. That yeah. is what you should call it. That should be the name of that chicken sandwich. It changes your life. Best one I've ever had. They really could call it the best chicken sandwich that they would be. No one would argue. You can't. Everyone should have it. It should be on the billboard to come to Houston Hot Chicken. It's the best. Spence Roper, 
Thanks for coming back on, man. You killed it. I thought I was gonna see him break. I said it was hot, it was hot. <laughs> a huge thank you to Ken, Tyler, everyone on the staff, totally took care of us. They could not have been better. We came back twice, not because Houston Hot Chicken is great, which it is, but the people here that work here are just so awesome. So I had to do Houston Hot Chicken right, come into the restaurant and do it, but, can rule. I want to do this at more restaurants. This is so much better, right? We're here, we're live, the presentation's better. If you want your restaurant to be on best thing on the menu, hit that email. Email me, let me know where I need to go, where I can come in and find the best thing on the menu in the restaurant itself, because it really is such a fun experience. We would love to come. We would like to find the best thing on your menu at best thing on the menu. And request the best guest on Best <laughs> Thing on the Menu. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Best Thing on the Menu. When are they gonna mop up uh, that puddle of urine that you, <laughs> you left when you ate that <laughs> under the spicy chicken? Welcome to a very special episode of Best Thing on the Episode. <laughs> best Thing on the Episode. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Best Thing on the Episode. Best Thing on the Episode. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Mm. They're so good. Yeah, they're like, oh. and then, I'll miss, I'll miss you. Because we're gonna need about thirty minutes for this to calm down, and I don't want to ruin the flavor of the shakes. Okay. So five minutes of vanilla shake, and then I'll come and get you and say, "Kid, oh, that's so unbelievable!" Shake. So angry. I I, last time I did this, dude, this thing's no good. Such a we're gonna need, we won't be ready for the shake. We gotta calm down. It'll take like okay. thirty minutes. So do the vanilla shake in about five minutes because that'll help calm it down, and then we'll. Uh, is that fair? Just thoughts okay. that are in my head that I'll never hear.